you have to go back about five years. Chris wasn't enamored with 3D, but he always loved IMAX. So we worked with him in some of the Dark Knight movies, the Batman, Inception, Interstellar, and we become almost like a family. He loves IMAX, we love him, and we developed a tempo in working together. So do you think this now makes other directors think twice about how much more deeply they can get involved? I've thought about that. Now, other directors have used our cameras for sequences, like in the last Star Wars in Mission Impossible, Brad Bird did it, um, Michael Bay used it a great deal. But I do think there's something about the movie industry, it's somewhat of a Me Too industry, so if one tornado movie works, everybody wants to make tornado movies. Right, right. So I think this has worked so well in IMAX, I do think more people are going to want to work with us. And the fact that this, this kind of a movie was released in the summertime, this is the kind of a movie that typically comes out end of year to get ready for the Oscar season, right? I would lie to you if I didn't say I was a little nervous, because a war movie, millennials, would it work? But you have to have faith in Chris. The guy really knows what he's doing. He's besides a filmmaking genius, he's a marketing genius also. And he proved it again. Uh, I, I saw yesterday, and when I left, I'm looking around at the crowd that was going out, mostly male, but also older couples as well. And that was sort of the demographic, I think, that, that you ended up going after, didn't you? Well, it's interesting because when you think of IMAX, you think of fanboy. But a lot of our biggest movies, like Gravity, like some of the movies Chris has done before Interstellar, were not fanboy movies. So clearly it broadens the audience base. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.